It's our last day, so we're going for a little morning walk. Then I'm going for an hour Reiki session with Dr. Parth or Partha. And here, what are you getting? Ayurvedic stuff. It's getting it. About to have some Reiki with Dr. Parth. It's an hour session, never did that. It smells amazing in here. I'll give a little consultation first. He's an Ayurvedic doctor. So we'll see how this goes, guys. Um, if you're not familiar with Reiki, a lot of people have sort of confusing, confused ideas about what it is. Um, but basically the idea is that we are taking in and putting out energy all day long and some of us end up drained, some of us end up with too much energy and sort of recalibrates us. So according to this doctor, he actually says it's good for people like me to do it a couple times a year. Um, he's also a naturopathic doctor, and so he took my pulse, and I was kind of like, all right, what's he gonna say? And the first thing he said was, is your birthday between May and July? And my birthday's actually smack dab in the middle of May and July, June 30th. Um, so I was like, okay, it's a little bit credible. Um, then he asked me a couple other things. I think the main takeaways that I was really impressed with were, um, after he scanned my body, you know, he said that I think a lot, and I do. And of course, we all think a lot, I know that, but my brain is just sometimes so nonstop. Um, and that affects my sleeping, so it's really hard for me to shut down or power down. Um, so he picked up on that, and then the other thing he said that was just like, whoa, well, or two things actually. One was that I'm super energy sensitive and intuitive um, and for someone like him he actually trained to be intuitive and understand energy but for somebody like me I pick it up immediately whether I want to or not so like if I see somebody from across the room I know if their energy is good or bad and I really do and I'm rarely wrong <laughs> about it sometimes I'll give people a chance but I can just read people's energy really well and, but I also take on that energy, so if I feel negative energy, I accept it, and I might not know what that, what that is, but, like, something just starts to feel off in me. So he was totally spot on with that, um, and really spot on with, he asked me, which is kind of funny, if I was a celebrity, and obviously I'm not, but, um, he's like, I don't know, when I was on your back, it was like all I saw were eyes on you. I was like, okay, well, not a celebrity, but... Part of my job is blogging, and I got to sort of explain what that what that means to him because it's very traditional and old school. But he's right, especially this week, just being engaged and we have extra eyes on me. Um, I don't mind it; I like it. But it's just interesting that he um, picked up on that. So things that I need to be aware of is just with all of those eyes on me way I communicate with so many people all the time is how much energy I take in um, and how I balance that with my own emotional energy and make sure that you know I'm stable so that means doing lots of energy clearing and balancing work work he recommended either wearing a bracelet or an anklet to actually balance it out um, because I absorb a lot of the energy that through my legs and my hands so that's why he recommended those two things. So it was really interesting. I actually was really impressed. The goal now is to find, for me, a good Reiki practitioner in my area because I'm yet to find one there. So that was that. That's really good. It was relaxing. We're leaving in like an hour or two. Just waiting for Evan to finish up his massage. And that will conclude officially the best week of my life. So thanks for hanging with me, guys. Being part of this, it's been really incredible. Really feeling blessed and grateful and trying to just take in as much as I can. And if I could pause time, this would be the moment I would do it. 